Hey everyone, this is me Daniel and Happy New Year to everybody. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of a beautiful house in Mesa, Arizona. I have timestamps in the description, so if there's a specific part of the video that you want to see, feel free to skip to that section by opening up that description and clicking the right link. But real quick, if you're new to the channel, my name is me Daniel and I give tours of homes in the Phoenix area. If you like this house and tour, please give us a like. And if you want to see more house tours like this, please subscribe. It helps me grow the channel and get into these amazing, awesome houses. All right, so today was a beautiful day in Mesa, Arizona. Um, all of Arizona is great. It's like in the 70s. Um, this is definitely the time of year you want to be in the valley. So let's jump in. So as soon as you walk in through those nice, beautiful wooden doors, you'll notice to the right, you'll see this entry room. You could do so many things with this. You could make it a dining room. You could make it a family room. Um, there's just a lot of different things you could do. Um, I really like the 2500 square feet because it feels spacious. There's a lot of different rooms you can do different things in. Um, and in this room specifically, it even feels larger because of this nice bay here. Put some pillows, read, um, and look outside. So, and I really liked, and that's why I want to focus on this lighting feature, fixture. It is gorgeous. You'll see throughout the whole house that there's this finished steel look to a lot of the different um, appliances. You'll see that through and through in the kitchen um, and a lot of the lighting features. So look out for that. You'll see, um, so as I said, to the right, there's the room that we're just in and to the left, there's another room. You could make this, it's kind of nice that it's separated from the kitchen a little bit, which we'll see in a second. So you could almost make this a dining room, um, kind of add, kind of create a little separation and some quiet away from maybe the chaos that might be the kitchen so you could actually make that like a nice formal dining room and then as you look as we go into the other uh, rooms you'll notice that there's this beautiful tile floor um, it's made to look like wood but it's actually tile great quality floors um, in this dining room you see there's this really awesome fireplace fully functional fireplace. Um, you don't think it is needed. It doesn't seem like it should be needed in Arizona, but it actually can get pretty cold in the desert. So we've had some chilly nights. We've had some mornings in the, that I've woken up and there's been frost all over the house, over the grass. So definitely nice to have. And then as you look in this living room, this is a cool feature. You don't see a lot of houses built in the 70s with a roof like this, but you can see that they have these wooden beams, um, exposed wooden beams so that you can see it, nice finish to it. And it really, really gives the house a high ceiling feel to it, even though it probably wasn't built this way. But I just love how they redid this, uh, the whole ceiling. It's great. So now as we jump into the kitchen, you can see this is the um, this is the island and in this island the cabinets there's this very nice I don't know what type of blue you want to call it sky blue baby blue um, probably a bunch of different names for it but you'll see throughout the whole house it has that very nice blue accent color it's done so stylistically that's why I like this house so much um, you know a lot of times oh by the way I want to point this out these these drawers great quality also has great hardware keeps it from slamming um, you can go in the kitchen go for a midnight snack you don't have to worry about waking up the whole house and getting caught eating food <clears throat> now as we go through the rest of the kitchen um, like I was saying there's some great um, really great quality and uh, great um, some really great finishes that just give this such a nice texture. So look at this. You could no normally go with like a normal modern backsplash, but here they actually went with this old looking um, rustic tiles. Each of these is, as you can see, totally different tile. Um, you can actually feel, you can't see it, but you can actually touch each one and you can actually feel the pattern. Great quality backsplash. Um, comes with stainless steel appliances. So. All of this is brand new. And 
then I wanted to, I specifically took this video because I wanted to show you how big the kitchen is. From the left side of the kitchen to the right side island, there's probably like six or seven or eight feet there. It really gives this kitchen a nice feeling that, um, a nice expansive feeling where you could have multiple cooks in the kitchen and it won't feel cramped at all, really giving it a nice social feel to it where you could have a lot of people in the kitchen, a lot of people surrounded this, surrounding this island and it's not gonna feel too crowded. Um, here are the water features for um, this faucet. Look at the, just look at the detail to it. They really picked out, like I said, it has that same um, steel finish that we saw in the lighting fixture, but it also has that really nice groove to it. Look at the, look at the sink too. Cool, what a cool finish. You don't see that too much. Everyone goes with the same stainless steel and it just isn't exciting at all, but really they gave this, they gave this kitchen, they gave the whole house a lot of character to it. I really like this house. Um, here are these lighting features above the island. Same finish to it, that same bright steel finish. Like I said, it, <laughs> All, the, all of these little details give it such a nice character to this house that you don't normally see. Everyone just goes with the basic modern look to it, but I like that accent, that baby blue that we'll see a couple more times, <clears throat> especially in the restroom. Um, it really gives it some character that you don't normally see in many homes today. So now we're stepping into the master, the master bedroom. As you can see, very large. You'll see here to the left, I really like how they did this. Um, they put in these barn door to the restroom, which is a very cool feature. So here we um, see, this is with it completely open. It can feel completely closed where you're isolated and have a closed restroom, or you can open it up and make the bathroom and the bedroom feel one and the same whatever your style is. Um, the one thing that's pretty consistent in this house is, I mean, there's many things, but one of the things is that the cabinet work is well done um, and there's plenty of cabinet space everywhere. So you can see in this restroom, they really added this extra cabinet space um, in the corner. A lot of times you'll see these new modern mirrors, which are very nice, but you'll lose the cabinet space. That is something that they took into account in this bathroom, which I really like. You have that cabinet space in the corner, so you don't feel like you're constantly bending down in order to um, grab something you need, right? I really like it. And then really nice looking glass encased shower. Really like the flooring, um, the tiling on the flooring and the walls, all very nice quality. Got to jump in so I can give you a closer look to it. Just a very cool marble look to it. And I really like the shower. It's just so bright. Um, I imagine you jump in here for a shower in the morning and you will just feel so awake with the bright colors, the bright marble. Um, and I really liked yeah, I really like how they like put that um, that space into the wall. Um, all right, so now we have in the master, you see these two closets. Like I said, uh, cabinets are great throughout the whole house. And in each of these sections of the master closet, you can see there's plenty of closet place, built-in um, clothes hangers, built-in shoe racks that you can see there, tons of built-in drawers, pull out um, spaces. I'm not sure what you put in that, <laughs> but I'm sure someone can find a use for it. Um, so yeah, like I said, cabinet space is really great. Okay, moving on from the master bedroom, you see you have access to the backyard. So let's take a look. This is a really really big lot you just feel like there's a lot to do in this backyard um there's already so much in the backyard and it just feels like uh you could eat you could add whatever you want um you see plenty of grassy area right there i think that originally had um they might have moved it this is a great spot for any type of um tent or if you want to put 
a lot of different things in there, um, including a fire pit. That would be great there. Uh, you see the property is a quarter acre, so there's a lot of um, different plants and trees already on the lot. You can see you have plenty of palm trees. I think all of these palm trees was at like almost eight different palm trees on this on this uh, in this backyard. So really gives you like a nice feel to it. Um, you can see all along the walls. Uh, green vines are growing on them um, so this doesn't feel too much like the desert it feels like a little oasis for you um, whenever you step in this backyard uh, we already saw the grass on the other side and here's the pool like I said tons of vegetation um, I don't know what any of these um, small vines are called or small bushes are called but it looks like there's plenty of space if you wanted to plant your own garden <laughs> All right, so let's head inside. We came out through that right door, um, which is the master bedroom. So we're gonna go in through, um, this is just another look at that grassy area. Um, you can see that all the grass is dead, which is actually a thing that happens in Arizona. Most grasses tend to burn out during the summer because um, of our hot summers over 110 degrees a lot of grass tends to die so that's why everything looks so dead during the winter it's actually dormant it's not dead and so it'll all revive and come back in the in this in the spring so we're gonna take a look at the other sides of the house I'm sorry, I totally I misspoke. Um, before when I was talking about grass, it's dormant now and it doesn't die during the summer. It actually lives during the summer. The type of grass that you have that can survive in the winter would die in the summer. So in order to not have to replant every year, um, that's why we have grass that is ryegrass and ryegrass tends to lie dormant in the winter, but the trade-off is you actually have grass all through the summer. So just wanted to correct myself there. And so this is one of the bedrooms. Um, like I said, this is a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom. So you see, this is the other bedroom. Both of these bedrooms, really spacious feeling. Um, you're not gonna have any trouble fitting a queen size bed if that's what you wanted in here. And then we're gonna take a quick look at the second bathroom here you can see we have that same bright finished steel like polished steel look that we saw in the kitchen and in the, in the lighting features we have that same finish to um, all the faucets and we have that same baby blue on the cabinets and also in the floor. This is really cool tile work. I like how everything seems to connect in this house. Um, here's the shower, all bright handles and faucets. It's just a very nicely done remodel to this house. I really like it. And the cool thing about this restroom, it's the second restroom, it's not the master, but it has a separate shower and a separate, um, <clears throat> and a separate tub really cool you don't always see that often so thanks for sticking with me if you stayed here to the end um, i'm just showing you outside there's a park right across the street from this house and that is a cool feature literally right across the street you can walk to this park um, as you can see winters are great here so thanks a lot for checking out my video have a good day